Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Maria. Today we are making a decorative vase. I call this my green vase. I hope you like this video. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start by cleaning the surface with alcohol. This will remove any uh, soap film that was left behind after I washed the glass. While this dries, I am mixing my colors. I am adding yellow to my blue paint. Now, the yellow that I use is Waverly. It's called Maze. And the blue that I use is the chalk paint by Bear. And that is called Adore Blue. And I got that at Home Depot. Now, I mixed two colors. I was looking for a green, but I didn't have it on hand, the specific color and mixing these two colors gave me the exact green that I wanted. So um, after mixing the paint, if you saw my previous video, I did use this blue and I didn't want it to go to waste, so I just added the yellow to it and I added it to the base. So that's the color that I ended up getting and once it's done, you will see how beautiful this vase actually turned out. Okay, so this did take two coats of paint um, for it to look the way it did. Now, I was looking for something that had like a leather look to it, um, so I can put like some cute handles on it. However, I couldn't find anything on hand, and when I was at the thrift store, I did find something that I thought would work best for it. So, I grabbed this, and I cut some pieces off of it just to make a loop for the vase, and you will see how that turns out. Um, you can use anything. If you have something old at home that you want to get rid of, or you can even change the, like you can have something else that you may have on hand that can make the loops. It doesn't have to be specific, like leather looking or anything. It's just something that will look for the handle. It could be any type of material that you like. Here I'm using two thumb tests to measure out how thick I want to cut the, the strips to this because I want to cut two to put one on each side. But I didn't want to cut them too thick or too thin. I want them just right that the thumb test will fit in the right spot. So that's me just measuring it out. So after cutting these off, I took my white paint and I wanted to make it green and white because, you know, in my mind I thought it would be cute. However, after doing that and painting the two strips that I cut out and everything, 
I realized mm, I don't like the way that looks in white so I changed my mind and I ended up using them in black after all now I used my wire cutters to cut the tips of the thumb fast. So please be careful when cutting these. I put my hand over it because when I did cut it, they did jump off. And you do not want to poke your eye out with this. So make sure you cover it with your hand. That way it doesn't jump up. So I did cut the tips of four of these because I'm using two for each strap. Once I did cut off the tips, I did use my glue gun to glue them in place on the straps. Once it was dry, I did um, get them ready to put them on the base. I measured it to be exact as to where I wanted to put these and I used the hot glue the hot glue gun to put them in place. Okay, this project is done. Look at how beautiful this vase turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, bye!